Hello everyone and welcome back to Missledyne Online Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Critical Mode on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we went to Hollow Bastion to figure out where the darkness was coming from and actually were acquainted with Ansem's computer. The computer he used for all of his research and we ended up getting sucked into it and we are here now in Space Paranoids where our good buddy, oh that's not our good buddy, I mean that is our good buddy, but it's not the one I was talking about, Tron is here. Uh, and it looks like we are being held captive by the MCP, the Master Control Program. So in this episode, we need to go and turn on the computer to this monitor right here so that we can actually leave. So to do that, let's go ahead and break this cluster, which will give us a bunch of things, and then we can freeze it and be able to open the door. Perfect. Nice and easy. Look at that! It was like the easiest peasiest thing ever. Master Control, why not just... Derez, Tron. I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. You're dismissed, Sark. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system or else. End of line. Acknowledged. Remarkable. It seems you have some unique functions. I'll go with you to the canyon. You'll need someone who can interface with the energy core, right? If you say so. Thanks, Tron. Hey, no problemo. So Tron is going to be in our party. We're actually going to keep Donald in here as well. So we have Tron and Donald. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. So something that uh, I thought I would mention is uh, you can level your summons and your limit forms and stuff uh, while you're playing, but there is some tricks that we can do later on that I will be showing you in their own videos to actually be able to like really get that going. So I am not doing it right now, uh, but eventually we will. So right here we can open this and we will be able to get the pit cell area map for this area, which is pretty darn gnarly. Right here we can grab a mithril crystal, which is good. We actually need one more to get a very, very good accessory that we can synthesize, of course. Anybody that says that Star Wars does not belong in, in Kingdom Hearts has clearly never played Kingdom Hearts 2. Because, like, if, if, come on, come on, if Tron can exist, so can Vader, you know what I mean? The MCP thing rules this world, right? Then we better search the energy core before it finds us out, indeed. Right, oh, nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Right there we can find a fa 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 crystal, uh, which is uh, very nice for us. Uh, we can talk to Tron, that thing in the center is the energy core, let's try accessing it. We could... Uh, or we could finish getting all of the things that we can grab, which right over here is another chest that we can grab, which contains a mithril stone. There is another item right up here that we can go ahead and grab while we're up here. Uh, just because, like, why not? You know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and grab this, which is a dark crystal. And then right over here, you're going to have to come up here eventually. But if we come up here, we can actually grab this first. So a mithril gem, and then we can go ahead and grab that daylight puzzle piece, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, we can't actually get the other piece that's on the other side just yet, but that's, you know, worth worth mentioning that it's there. Now we can go ahead, walk over to right here, and we can access the computer. This is the energy core. Find the real parts. Okay, so we just have to run around and look for a block that will be red. Right there. That's exactly what we need. Right there. Right there. You see it. You see it. It's right here. It's right here. There we go. Boom. Boom. Easy peasy.
Looks like we turned it on. Mission accomplished? Yes. That was easy. Now, will you do something for me? You got it. Don't you want to hear what it is first? You helped us, now it's our turn. You guys really are users. Your actions are totally illogical. Aren't... Isn't Tron a user? Let's hurry back to the pit cell. Where's that again? That's the sector where we met. <laughs> in case you forgot, in the five minutes that it's been. Roger! Roger, Roger. So now we just have to head all the way back. So this is why I said that's a good time to grab those items. And now we can just head on back to the pit cell. This is super easy. Uh, this a little bit. But don't worry, we'll be back real real soon and by real soon i mean like almost immediately so right now we can go to the research lab let's do it so what did you want us to do find my user he'll give you the password to access the dtd you're back so um dtd is the name my user gave to the data space Copies of all the original system programs are stored there, along with anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Hmm, most likely. A number of my functions were appropriated when I last took on the MCP. That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Hmm. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually. I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to find your user and ask him. What's his name? You mean you don't know? <laughs> My user is the user of this system. Ansem the Wise. Ansem! Looks like the MCP's on to us. I'll keep this terminal up and running. You better exit the system now. Sure, but Tron, Ansem is... Okay, you're good to go. Hurry! We did it! Where have you been? Uh, in a computer, Leon. In a computer, dude. No big deal. There's a world inside this computer where these, um, programs live, and, uh, yeah, no, it makes no sense. So, in other words, Ansem's research data is off limits until we know the password. I think that's right. But you've already defeated Ansem. Gosh, maybe we'll never find the... Uh, we're in his, like, computer room. I think we'll find it. That means it's probably on a piece of paper sitting around. This is all a wild goose chase. You're chasing what now? <gasps> Tifa! Well, well, a hidden room. Guess I'd better take another look around. Uh-oh. Uh, don't, please don't break anything. She just won't give up. And neither will we. Come on, we gotta look for that password. Alright, let's look for it. Right, we made a promise to Tron. Excuse me?
Hollow Main Security, Tron Door to Darkness. That must be what DTD stands for. Let's check it out. What's this doodle? Hello. Man. Security. Tron. Door to. Looks like a diagram or something. Door to. Darkness. Oh. D T D D T D. D What's up? Look at this. This must be the data space. The D T D. See? The door to darkness. What do you know? But that still leaves the password. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Long time no see. Shh. The organization might be listening. In the door to darkness? Oh, uh, yes, sir. You see, we're looking for the secret password. Password? Oh, I guess you mean like a code. Well, the door to darkness can only be opened by the seven princesses. There's Snow White, Jasmine, and Belle. Of course. What are you trying to do? With that password, we can get access to Ansem's research data. So that means you might be able to find out where he is. Uh, stop joking around, Your Majesty. We already defeated Ansem. You know that. Looks like I've got a lot of explaining to do. Well, yes, Your Majesty. Okay, but first I've got a question. Hey. Isn't Tron waiting for you guys? Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If those Heartless attack, I'll stand and fight with everybody here. Yeah, we will too. Then let's talk more later. That's a promise! I'll see you when you get back. Mickey's back. Oh, one more thing. Let me give your clothes some new powers. Oh, oh, Mickey. You've done so much, just consider it a thank you present. All right, let's grab it. We're heading off to see Tron now, so wait here for us, okay? Uh, all right. So we get a new form, it looks like, and that is Master Form. With the help of two friends, use the drive command to change into Master Form which is incredibly powerful and super strong. We can go ahead and talk to Mickey again. Finding Ansem's research data will have to come first. I'll explain everything later. What does that mean? We can find him. Hmm, but we already defeated Ansem, didn't we? We did in the last game. I don't know, man. I don't know. So right here, we can open this up to have a ukulele charm with the help of two friends use the summon command to call forth stitch for a helping hand that will actually come in, in super handy uh later when i actually go and level up our summons you can save if you so choose you can also talk to tifa you found the person you were looking for i'm glad to hear he's safe i guess if you look long enough you're bound to find your man hmm where should i look next uh we can also talk to leon leave this to us you just concentrate on the data use that password and work with tron to free that door to darkness data let's go ahead and save the game and now we can go into the computer itself. It's in the computer. It's in the computer, man. Back to the pit cell to meet up with Tron and see what's going on.
Gosh, I wonder where Tron is. I don't know, Goofy. Don't touch that. Oh, Goofy. Oh, Goof, Goof. Great, Goofy. Look what you did. Uh, I didn't do it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We've all seen the Goofy movie. Oh, I didn't touch nothing. Welcome to the game grid. Game grid? That's right. You've been chosen to play a few games. Lose and you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Win? Well... <laughs> no one wins. You're not gonna play our games? You have no choice. Well then, get on with it. Light cycle. Left stick to move left and right. Uh, turn left with L1, turn right with R1. Huh. Attack and uh, to break enemy charges, charge to break enemy guards, and guard to break enemy attacks. Interesting. This is Light Cycle. This is actually a, a pretty fun mini game, if a little, if a little weird. Uh, so you can't actually just go ahead and like charge them like that. Uh, oops. You're actually supposed to turn there. That was my bad. So you can actually just attack. It's actually just faster to attack some of these. And there you go. So in that first part, it's just kind of a tutorial on what to do. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention. I hit the wall. Ooh, a new type of Heartless is introduced. So those were strafers before. Those are pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. Oh, good. All right. It looks like we can escape through there. And the real minigame begins. This time we need to head for the crack in the wall. Thank you, Tank, for opening the way out. Uh, but unfortunately, we will have a big old wall come into our way. Now, we will also be attacked by a few of these enemies. Now, we actually, what I tend to do is I don't even tend to use my guard. I tend to just use my square, uh, which will actually, for the most part, push these things into walls, and you can just kill them that way. That is honestly one of the easiest ways to deal with these things, and that's typically what I do. Instead of attacking or doing anything like I just did, um, if I would have just hit them with square, that charge attack instead, uh, they would have just they would have just died. Now, if they hit the wall, they do die, which is actually a faster way to deal with them than actually using your attack button, which of course is X, because as you know, we have guard, charge, and attack available to us. I never use my circle. I use my charge all the time because, as you can see, hitting them into a wall tends to just be so much better, uh, the, especially when you're talking about the gray ones. The gray ones and the yellow will tend to just die uh, as soon as they hit a wall and the fastest way to get them into a wall, you know, is, is, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Ooh, it's scary now. Especially when you have, like, that many gray ones at one time, the best idea is to just go ahead, use your charge, and they'll probably die, and now we need to make it right over there. So I'm actually going to hug these walls for a little bit. Now, we need to watch out for these guys who are going to use these special attacks and right in the wall, and there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Understand. Why are you here? We came to give you the password. Why didn't you just transmit the data? Transmit? Hey, are you okay? I'll be all right. Once we access the DTD. Okay, but do we really want a guy who can't even stand on his feet fighting with us? Okay, I guess I guess we will, but like that sounds like a bad idea. Uh, so we can go ahead and talk to him. The MCP is originally a data acquisition program. If you hadn't rescued me, it would have stolen all of my data. Apparently, we can get to the data space from the canyon. The shining red wall should show us the way. And Donald, hey, this is the room we were locked in when we first came here, right? We opened the lock by gathering up data, didn't we? Uh... Yeah, I don't know how that's relevant. Let's go ahead and turn in all of our synthesizing stuff that we got. Perfect. Uh, and this is a great time to save the game. And this is a great time to end the episode. I mean, might as well, right? Uh, in the next part, we will go and actually challenge the MCP and hopefully be able to take it down. 
that should be it for that episode, and then we will be going and moving forward. Uh, the next episode might be a little short, but it will contain a boss fight, so I just want to I just want to keep that in mind uh, as we actually move on, just because there is some more that we can do, and if I was to continue continue on now, this episode would be way too long. So I want to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Showing up on screen right now is some links that you can click to watch other videos or to go and support the channel monetarily. For just a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the door to darkness.